Good evening from San Ignacio Town. With the 9 o'clock news, I am Patrick Jones. Making headlines today, the Tourism Police Unit gets much needed equipment. SUV crashes in front of the police station in San Ignacio and a new resident rector has been installed at the Our Lady of Guadalupe Co-Cathedral in Belmopan. Stay tuned for details of these and other stories coming up after these messages. stop destination what you will find is a first-class selection of solid dependable quality products from the names you can trust we carry a full line of urea and short tech tools and equipment to meet every need from light maintenance around the house to heavy-duty field work our tire workshop features the full array of Pirelli Nexon and Nankang tires for every vehicle and any terrain our trained technicians' number one priority is to ensure you and your family's safety and security on the road. It's all here at the Belize Tire Depot. From reliable equipment, world-class time-tested tires, to sturdy, durable tools. Merchandise that's built to last with quality guaranteed. Are you always on the go? Tired of missing your favorite games while they're actually being played? Watch your games and sporting events live with Central TV and Internet's incredible My TV. Simply log on to www.mitv.bz to get easy access to 25 channels, no matter where you are. With Central TV and Internet's My TV, you're always in the game. More vehicle owners are switching to the PureGuard line of motor oils and with good reason. PureGuard comes in different grades and specifications. It carries the API certification and comes with the Westrack stamp of approval, guaranteed to make your engine run cleaner and longer, up to 10,000 miles. With PureGuard motor oil, your engine will have less wear and tear, give you maximum performance on the road, and give your vehicle better fuel mileage. PureGuard, good quality, affordable oil. Distributed exclusively by West Track Limited, with branches in Spanish Lookout, Belmopan, Belize City, and Orange Walk Town. Here now is the news in details. A late-night crash in San Ignacio town has left one person hospitalized in Belize City. Around 10 o'clock last night, an SUV came down Buena Vista Street, which is beside the San Ignacio Police Station, clipped a parked vehicle and uh, crashed into the fence at the Atlantic Bank. Officer commanding San Ignacio Police Superintendent Andrew Ramirez sent out a brief statement on the incident this morning saying that the Red Cherokee may have had a brakes problem which caused it to slam into a park RAV4 with Belize City license plates. The driver of the Cherokee has been identified as a 44-year-old Serafetin Bascaya. According to Superintendent Ramirez, Mr. Bascaya suffered some serious injuries and has been taken to the Belize Medical Associates Hospital in Belize City for medical treatment. San Ignacio police have arrested two men on multiple charges related to a home invasion on Friday night. Julian Garcia and Melvin Budna Jr. were arraigned in the San Ignacio Magistrates Court today on charges of aggravated burglary, aggravated assault with a firearm, and theft of a motor vehicle. 
Magistrate Gillett remanded Budna and Garcia to the Belize Central Prison and ordered their return to court on Monday, October 19th. According to police reports, San Ignacio resident, 37-year-old Anthony Mai, and his family were accosted by armed men inside their home just before 11 o'clock on Friday night. The initial police report said that the intruders demanded the keys to Mai's government-issued Toyota Hilux pickup truck and his personal Chevy Colorado pickup truck, both of which were parked outside of his house. Police say that as the attackers were leaving in Mai's personal vehicle, they fired a single shot towards his house. No one was injured. Police say that none of the stolen properties have been recovered. Two and a half years after a fatal road traffic accident in the Cayo district, police have brought charges against the driver of the vehicle involved. Based on a directive from the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, San Ignacio police arrested and charged 51-year-old Anthony Vasquez of Central Farm for the offenses of causing death by careless conduct, improper overtaking, and driving without due care and attention. The accident happened on the Crystal Ray Road on April 20, 2013. It claimed the life of Michael Masariego. The Tourism Police Unit today got some much-needed operational assistance. Minister of Tourism Manuel Heredia Jr. handed over a set of equipment designed to greatly improve the Tourism Police Unit's work of safeguarding the tourism industry. According to an official release, the equipment includes five Yamaha trail bikes and 28 handheld radios. A press release from the BTB explains that the trail bikes are designed for the tourism police formation in Hopkins Village, Orange Walk, Burgess Key, Cayo and Belize City. BTB says Hopkins Village has popular sites nearby such as the Mayflower Bocawina National Park and the Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary. The motorcycles will assist greatly in Orange Walk as the Tourism Police Unit does not have any form of transportation at the moment. Northern Ambergris Key is not easily accessible, therefore a trail bike will allow for the deployment of the TPU and rapid response capabilities. The government press release says that the Cayo district is a large stretch of land rich with diverse activities and ecotourism. Therefore, this trail bike is much needed. In Belize City, patrols are needed to ensure that only licensed operators are taking guests on tours and to increase police visibility to deter criminal activity in the Fort Street Tourism Zone. The 28 handheld radios are intended to improve communication between the TPU officers patrolling in the respective destinations countrywide and the police stations to whom they report. Corozal Town, Orange Walk Town, San Ignacio Town, Benkeve Hotel Carmen, Punta Gorda, Kikorka Village, Nohek Chen Archaeological Reserve at Caves Branch, the Caracol Archaeological Reserve, Hopkins, and Placencia Village will now have enhanced communication. Belize City also received radios, being the hub for cruise tourism and ground transportation into the country, as well as water taxi connections to the Keys. The BTB has also uh, equipped the Key Cocker Police Station with a base radio to be used in communication with the handheld radios that the Key Cocker TPU has received. A mobile radio has also been donated to the Tourism Police Unit and is presently housed in the vehicle assigned to the Tourism Police Unit. You're watching the 9 o'clock news. Stay tuned for more of the day's stories right after these messages. You too can ride off into the sunset. Milan motorbikes are very affordable. There's a high availability for parts and a wide selection of models to choose from. My Milan, my bike. Available countrywide.
Looking in your eyes, I see a paradise. This world that I found is too good to be true. Standing here beside you, want so much to give you this love in my heart that I'm feeling for you. That I'm saying. More vehicle owners are switching to the PureGuard line of motor oils and with good reason. PureGuard comes in different grades and specifications. It carries the API certification and comes with the Westrack stamp of approval, guaranteed to make your engine run cleaner and longer, up to 10,000 miles. With PureGuard motor oil, your engine will have less wear and tear, give you maximum performance on the road, and give your vehicle better fuel mileage. PureGuard, good quality, affordable oil. Distributed exclusively by West Track Limited, with branches in Spanish Lookout, Belmopan, Belize City, and Orange Walk Town. Welcome back to the 9 o'clock news. A powerful multicultural mass was held at the Belmopan Our Lady of Guadalupe Co-Cathedral on Sunday morning, August 23rd, to welcome a new leader to shepherd God's people. The new rector is Father Jordan Gongara, a Belizean from Orange Walk who was ordained in 2009. The installation was done by Bishop uh, Clancy, who expressed the importance of working with the resident rector to advance the church. The diverse congregation had representatives from the Quechi, Mupan, Garifuna, Creole, and Hispanic communities, and others doing specific parts of the Mass. After the celebration, Father Gongora expressed his gratitude to all those who ensured that the celebration materialized. A reception was held after the Mass at the Parish Hall, where entertainment was presented by Hispanic groups from Valley of Peace and Quechi Group. Other ethnic groups, representatives also greeted Father Gongora in their languages and expressed their best wishes. In speaking to the National Channel News, Father Gongora said that he wants to push the Catholic faith in the schools and improve the performance of the students as well. The winners of the Children's Environmental Poster Competition today received their cash prizes which were handed over by Minister of Tourism Manuel Heredia Jr. The competition is sponsored annually by the Florida Caribbean Cruise Association and is designed to encourage children to design a poster based on a specific theme. This year, the theme was My Caribbean, Your Caribbean to Protect and Preserve. The Belize Tourism Board says that it received many creative entries that were all worthy of national recognition. But in the end, a finalist was selected from each division, both junior, under age 12, and senior, 12 to 15 years old, and submitted to the Florida Caribbean Cruise Association to compete against other entries from the other Caribbean countries. According to the BTB, uh, Homaira Nawar received $1,000 US dollars for placing third in the junior category, and her school, St. Joseph Roman Catholic Primary School, also received $1,000 US dollars. Nisa Sanchez received $1,500 US dollars for placing second in the senior category, and her school, the Edward P. York, received $1,500 US dollars also. Minister Heredia presented the students with the and the principals of the schools with their respective checks and gifts from the BTB. The Toledo Institute for Development and the Environment, TIDE, continues to carry out its mandate in the communities it serves around the Toledo district. 
Earlier this month, a Tide sponsored a tree grafting workshop which was held in San Pedro, Colombia Village. It was attended by members from the indigenous Maya community-based organization, Zucaneb. According to a social media post by Tide, the training was led by Kenny Kal from the Yaksha Conservation Trust with support from Tide Ranger Eugenio A and Rosanna Romero from Maya Mountain Cacao. A total of 35 participants received the training in how to graft two important agroforestry for forestry fruit species, namely the cacao and mango. The workshop is part of a larger project at Tide on riparian reforestation. The project aims to protect riparian, aquatic and marine ecosystems, create a wildlife corridor, develop a source of sustainable finance for the Izukaneb, support sustainable rural livelihoods by promoting organic cacao and fruit-based agroforestry, and build leadership in watershed management. The project is funded by the World Wildlife Fund's Russell E. Train Education for Nature program. The September celebrations are in full swing, but already preparations have begun for the annual Battle of the Drums event in Punta Gorda town. Our colleagues at PGTV spoke with the organizer of the event, Darius Avila, who says this year's celebration will be special because it marks one full decade of the Garifuna cultural event. We started Battle of the Drums 10 years ago, and so this year we want to celebrate big, considering that several things would uh, not be successful over a 10 year period. This year we will start off the middle of October where during that long, week, that long weekend in October, Pan American Day weekend, we'll be hosting what we term the Battle of the Drums Champion of Champions Roadshow. That is an event that will be staged in three places. Mm. On the 9th of October, Friday, 9th of October, we will have the road show in Dangriga. On the 10th of, November, of October, sorry, we'll have the road show in Belize City. And on the 11th of October, we'll be having the road show in Punta Gorda Town. We call it Champion of Champions Road Show because we are bringing back all the champions over the past 10 years to compete in what we term the Battle of the Drums Champion of Champions Road Show. Thereafter, in November, we start our activities from the first Friday of November. That is where, when we have our high school's Battle of the Drums. The next day, the Saturday, the first Saturday in November, we'll be having our Miss Yurume contest. Now, in that contest, we are bringing back the five champions of the Miss Yurume contest over the past five years. So again, that will be a big event. And then we continue on to various activities throughout the course of November. Leading up to the Battle of the Drums, first of all, that weekend of the Battle of the Drums, you know, we always have on the Friday night, the Battle of the Drums Food and Fet. Um, on the Saturday, we have the annual Battle of the Drums, which is our 10th annual Battle of the Drums, and that will be on the 14th of November. And then on the Sunday, we have what we call the Paranda Show. And then, of course, we continue right on into the 19th of November. A number of activities will be held in Garifuna communities around the country leading up to the celebration of Garifuna Settlement Day on November 19th. The news on the National Channel. Are you always on the go? Tired of missing your favorite games while they're actually being played? Watch your games and sporting events live with Central TV and Internet's incredible My TV. Simply log on to www.mitv.bz to get easy access to 25 channels, no matter where you are. With Central TV and Internet's My TV, you're always in the game. YouTube 
can ride off into the sunset. Milan motorbikes are very affordable. There's a high availability for parts and a wide selection of models to choose from. My Milan, my bike. Available countrywide. More vehicle owners are switching to the PureGuard line of motor oils and with good reason. PureGuard comes in different grades and specifications. It carries the API certification and comes with the Westrack stamp of approval, guaranteed to make your engine run cleaner and longer, up to 10,000 miles. With PureGuard motor oil, your engine will have less wear and tear, give you maximum performance on the road, and give your vehicle better fuel mileage. PureGuard, good quality, affordable oil. Distributed exclusively by West Track Limited, with branches in Spanish Lookout, Belmopan, Belize City, and Orange Walk Town. Mainly fair and warm conditions continue to be dominating factors in our weather heading into the weekend. The general forecast for Belize and her coastal waters is for partly cloudy skies tonight. Showers or thunderstorms will be generally isolated. Tomorrow will be sunny and warm. Winds over the open sea and along the coast will be easterly to southeasterly at 5 to 50 knots. The sea state will be slight to light chop. Low temperatures tonight will be around 88 degrees, so that should be 78 degrees Fahrenheit along the coast, 73 degrees Fahrenheit inland, and 70 degrees Fahrenheit up in the hills. High temperatures on Thursday will range from 90 degrees Fahrenheit along the coast to 98 degrees Fahrenheit inland. It will be a warm 84 degrees Fahrenheit up at the higher elevations. A low tide will occur at 12 minutes past 1 o'clock in the morning. The sun will rise at 22 minutes to 6 o'clock also in the morning. It will set at 11 minutes past 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. The extended forecast valid through to Friday afternoon is for continuing mainly fair and warm weather conditions to prevail. And that is a look at the weather with information provided by forecaster Michael Gentle at the Belize Weather Bureau. Tropical Storm Erica remains poorly organized as it approaches the Leeward Islands. Here is more in the Tropical Weather Update. Let's get you the latest on Tropical Storm Erica, still churning out in the Atlantic, and it's going to be on a strengthening trend over the next couple of days. Still a couple thousand miles off the southeast coast of the United States, but we are going to be watching for the possibility of the southeastern United States being affected by this by the time we get to late weekend into next week. Initially, Leeward Islands, okay, so St. Kitts, Nevis, Antigua, places like that. That'll start tonight into the next couple of days, and then it's Puerto Rico. Then it's the Dominican Republic. It's going to make at least a pretty close pass to those spots, the Bahamas, and eventually, I mentioned earlier, early on next week. Watch out southeastern United States. Now, this is not for sure that we're going to get hit in the southeastern United States. What you're looking at is called a cone of uncertainty as to where the center of the storm is going to go. So that means, could it take a little bit of a track out toward the east and not affect southeastern United States at all? Yeah, that's possible. It could head out into, you know, the Gulf as well. It also could end up hitting parts of southeastern Florida. So there's a look at Miami from earthcam.com. Early Wednesday morning, no clouds from Erica yet, but we'll be watching that one closely. To finalize the news, here are the main points again. 
The Tourism Police Unit gets much-needed equipment. SUV crashes in, in front of the San Ignacio Police Station. And a new resident rector has been installed at the Our Lady of Guadalupe Co-Cathedral in Belmopan. With the headlines, we end this edition of the 9 o'clock news. Thank you for joining us. I am Patrick Jones. Have a good evening and a good night.